The Citrix Zen App Power and Capacity Management Technology Preview gives customers a glimpse into future technologies that will drastically save on data center costs associated with power and idle capacity. Let's take a look at the installation, configuration, and function of power and capacity management. This tech preview includes two packages, the administrator package and the agent. We begin with the admin or concentrator package. This installation requires a SQL Server and .NET Framework 3.5. The concentrator will monitor the workers and decide when to power them on and off. We accept the license agreement and custom installation. The package installs the concentrator service, admin console, and the database schema and reports. We'll select all three for this installation. We'll need to enter a unique farm name. This isn't a ZenApp farm name, but just a namespace that's used to determine which ZenApp servers are managed by which concentrator. Let's use ZenApp PCM for our demonstration. I now need to enter the SQL Server information, the database name, and the administrative user. In this case, it's the machine network account. We also need to enter the information for reporting services. For our example, we'll use the same SQL Server as in the previous step. Now we're ready to complete the installation. During this process, a service connection point is added under the computer account in Active Directory. This is how the agents will find the concentrators during their configuration. Immediately after installation is finished, we configure the concentrator. In this tech preview, all servers in the same farm must use the same power control. You have two choices for enabling power control of ZenApp servers, Wake on LAN or Zen Server APIs, which I've selected here. Since we're using Zen Server, we also enter the pool name and login information. This is the management console. On initial open, the console reports no managed servers. Now let's configure a server. Installing the agent package will allow this server to be power managed. The installation requires a concentrator to be installed and .NET Framework 3.5. We accept the license agreement and configure a power and capacity management farm name and define a workload name. Workloads define server groups that share similar power management settings. Now the agent installation is complete. One thing to note is that because power and capacity management farms aren't associated with ZenApp server farms, you can have workload groups that contain servers across multiple ZenApp farms. Now let's go back to our management console. In the management console, we can see that our new server workload has appeared automatically. Now we have to define the capacity associated with this workload. Let's set the capacity of our workload to 8. For your needs, you can determine your server capacity using load testing services or by entering a typical maximum session load that's seen on a server of the same type. This setting is per workload group or hardware specification rather than for every ZenApp server. This way, if you have lots of servers that are the same, and share the same hardware specification, then they'll have the same capacity setting. The tech preview also lets you create a power management schedule. To do this, select the schedule tab and click allow edit. Configure your settings for each day and copy them across the week. Here we configure this workload to maintain a minimum of one server and six buffered sessions of additional capacity at midnight every weekday. If more servers are needed during this off-peak hour, Power and Capacity Management will add them. We complete this schedule by adding more time intervals that change throughout the day and throughout the week. Scheduling allows you to manage your buffered capacity to meet periods of high user demand. These settings apply to the workload group. As you can see, We've prepared two additional ZenApp servers using the provisioning services feature of ZenApp. 
we now have a total of three active servers. To simplify our demonstration, let's manually override the schedule that we configured. We'll set the minimum number of servers to 1 instead of 3 and reduce the online session buffer from 20 to 6 sessions. Immediately, two servers are powered down because the manual override policy has a lower minimum capacity than what was currently available. Now let's use ZenApp's load testing services feature to simulate a load on the system and see how power and capacity management responds. This is the ZenApp load testing services console. We've prepared a script that will add 24 sessions to the three server ZenApp farm. We'll run this script by clicking play and the first session has connected already. Let's take a look at the management console to see what's happening. We see here that two sessions are connected. Based on our manual override policy, when there are less than six sessions of capacity remaining, another server will be powered on. As you can see, the next server is now coming online. It'll take a few minutes for the server to power on, and as that happens, new sessions will continue to be directed to the first server. Clicking on the Performance tab, we see a monitoring interface. The top graphic represents percentage of total used capacity. The middle represents the number of servers online compared to the number of active sessions. And the third is simply the number of online servers. Let's fast forward here to see how this interface changes when the new server comes online. Now server 2 has finally come online. Notice how the first server is almost at its peak load when the new server becomes available. Also notice that our unused load is greater than the 6 minimum we set in the policy. Let's fast forward again to see what happens when our manual override policy settings are breached once more. Notice how the two active servers continue to load balance sessions as they log on and log off. Power and capacity management consolidates session load across fewer servers while load balancing continues to distribute the load evenly across the active servers in the farm. Load testing continues to load servers with sessions until this third server powers on. Power and capacity management for ZenApp will help you reduce power consumption and idle capacity, but its potential goes beyond these benefits. It helps you make the best use of your existing capacity by over-provisioning it to meet SLAs and improve disaster recovery response. The technology can even be used to migrate servers using a drain and power on method, where old server images are powered down when possible and replaced with new server images as capacity needs increase. Citrix ZenApp Power and Capacity Management can help your organization save money and meet SLAs. Download your technology preview today at citrix.com slash zenapp slash tech previews.